An exciting function of Toolset is allowing users to create their own posts. This is great for magazine sites, membership sites, and even for posting classified ads. In this example, we have a website for gyms and trainers. Here is a list of gyms. And we want to allow gym owners to add their own gyms to the site. Notice that there's all of these different fields for title, photos, ratings, the type of fitness the gym does, and more. All of these fields are custom made. How a new page is created. We'll want a way that the end users can go to a page, then fills out a form that asks what to put into all of the fields. Finally, they hit the submit button and this form becomes a new post. This is our goal, a page that a user can fill out and once they hit the submit button, a new page is created. How the site is set up. Let's go to the back end and I'll show you how everything is set up. Then we'll dive into how to allow your users to make their own posts. Notice that we have normal posts and then we have custom post types of gyms, personal trainers, sessions, and more. In this case, we'll want our gym owners to create their own gym posts. And notice that gym posts have their own category. In this case, it's called gym types. And you'll see this is where the selections are for the type of fitness the gym does, aerobics, dance, weightlifting, and more. Going back to the main screen, if we go down to Toolset, Custom Fields, we see there was a group of fields created just for gyms. It's called the Field Group for Gyms. Clicking into it, we find all the same fields we saw on the front end. Ratings, addresses, photos, and more. Creating the form. Okay, so those are all the elements. Now let's make the form. Let's go to Tool Set, Post Forms, Add new. Name it. We'll keep the form type as add new content, since that's what we're doing. The post type we're going to create is gyms. We're going to just let people publish directly to the site, but you can also hold drafts for moderation. And after the form is filled out by the user, we might want to send them off to a new page but right now we'll just thank them for their submission. On the next page, we have all the fields that this form can edit that are already attached to the gym posts, so you don't need to do any work bringing them in. We can allow our end users to add a title, text content, pick what type of gym they are, their address, add photos, and more. Two items I'm going to remove are star ratings and featured gyms since we don't want users to give themselves ratings or featured positions on our homepage. We also have the ability here to lay out our form by dragging and dropping positions. So instead of each on its own row, let's say I drag the address input next to the gym type input. And notice on the right side, items we removed are there if we want to bring them back. Plus, other elements can be added, such as conditionals and custom HTML. And let's say you want to add in a video to this page, maybe a tutorial for new users. You can use the Add Media to bring that in. I don't need it here, so I'll delete it again. Continuing on, the last page lets you add email notifications to the user and the admin after the form is submitted. We cover this in another lesson. OK, we hit Finish and we're done. We now have a form. The easiest way to display your form is create a new page. Add a form block and pick the form we just made. And that's it. You're done. You can add anything else you want on this page. And here it is on the front end.